video. Today I want to help you with your recovery and I want to talk specifically about FOMOing. For the longest time, I used to be the type of player that after a game, I would be so sore. The next day, my limbs, my legs, my joints would be so stiff and I couldn't train the way I wanted. I couldn't play the next day the way I wanted and it was really hurting my performance and just my general progression. So I started doing a couple different things, really taking action. And putting if you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. I've been putting an effort into my recovery, and it's made a massive difference. I feel so much better every single day. I feel like I can play every single day, and foam rolling is one thing that I've started doing and it's really made a big difference. So in this video, I'll show you a bunch of different exercises that you can do, but to start, I just wanna talk about what you should be focusing on when you're foam rolling. So first of all, foam rolling is basically like a self massage. So when you have tight, tense muscles, the idea is you wanna push the tension out of those muscles. Now, you'll see people do foam rolling and they're doing something like this just flowing through it, going super fast, not really taking the time. Yes, it may help you a bit, but you're not gonna get the most out of it. What you really wanna do is you wanna go nice and slow. You wanna be aware of your body, so you wanna think, okay, where is my tightness? Let's say, for example, it's in your hamstring. Okay, so if I know I have a tight point on there, I wanna find that spot, and then I wanna go super slow. I wanna dig into that. That should be painful. It should almost hurt a bit. It should, it should hurt in a good way because you know it's actually doing something. So if you're just going like this, and people are always asking, how many repetitions should you do? How many sets? How long? Well, that depends on your amount of stiffness. You need to be aware of yourself. And you need to listen to your body. So you need to find that point. And if you're really stiff there, you wanna fight through the pain, you wanna wiggle around on it a little bit, work it out slowly. Again, this is self-massage, so you need to listen to yourself, listen to your body. And again, you want it to hurt. If it's hurting, it's doing something good. So when you're doing all these exercises, really think about taking your time, being aware of your stiffness, feeling that pain. Oh, when I did it in that area, that's where it really hurts. So that's where I need to take my time and keep going until you feel like you've actually made a difference, like you've actually broken up some of that tight muscle and you're doing something to relieve your stiffness. So now I'll just quickly, we'll speed through, I'll show you a bunch of different exercises that you can do with this foam roller. But what I would recommend is that if you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online Soccer Academy. What I recommend is that you do foam rolling at night. I do foam rolling every night before I go to bed and when I wake up in the morning, I feel amazing. If you want to do it after your game as well, that's a good idea. You could do it pre-game for a bit of warm-up, but I think post-game and at night are the best times to do foam rolling.
If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online Soccer Academy.